So, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. Wassalatu wassalam ala Sayyidil Mursaleen Muhammadinil Amin. So, uh, uh, Brother Charles, um, we were last time talking about the covenant of the Prophet Sallallahu with the Christian world. And uh, a kind of like a the next step to that or something that naturally follows after that is something that you mentioned to me and I thought it was very interesting. And so I wanted to do a podcast on that is a group of links of maybe 40 plus that you had at one time of when Muslims had helped the Christians. Yeah, this was, um, well, you know, the, the, the covenant, the covenant, the covenants, actually, there's, there's a number of them, uh, of the prophet Muhammad with the Christians and of the world and other peoples of the book, um, were getting rediscovered mostly through the work of Dr. John Andrew Morrow, just during the time when ISIS was rearing its ugly head. And, uh, that, that just struck us as providential. I mean, he'd been working on these for years, you know, and, and finally, you know, he was going to get where he was going to publish something. And then, ISIS appeared. And then, as I said, I think last time, my idea was, to, you know, in consultation with our publisher, you know, and also with him, that, that we needed to do not just a scholarly, you know, book on the covenants, which would cost $75 and only libraries would buy, you know, and not a lot of them, but we, we needed to make a political, you know, we want to say political, a social movement out of them because it was time for that. You know, we could say I, I, ISIS was, uh, you know that they were were our, our ad agency. You know, they, you know, with, without without that kind of development, uh, the need for the co covenants and to, to understand them and their relevance for our time would not have been understood by a lot of people. It mm -hmm. would have looked like, you know, well, this is some some, you know, academic niche of of, of scholarship which some people will be interested in, but most people who, who could care less. But it, it it they made it relevant. So what's interesting is, is during the time when, you know, ISIS, I mean, it, it, we have to remember that I, ISIS killed more Muslims than Christians because there were more Muslims to kill and they, they were into killing anybody who did not accept their um, version of Islam, you know, I mean, you know, uh, which would include Shia and Sufis and, and traditional Sunnis who, who, who uh, you know, held held to the traditional mazabs, and uh, you know, all all, of, all these people were, uh, you know, you know, they they cried takfir upon everybody but themselves. So, so uh, let me ask a side question: Do you think literal interpretation of any text, uh, or, or specifically within the context of Islam or religion? Do you, what would be your, do you have a critique or would you do a critique of literal interpretation? Well, there needs to be a literal interpretation to begin with, because if you don't know the literal meaning, you won't have a basis to understand the inner or the symbolic meaning. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you need to know the it's facts. Very well put, actually. That's actually very beautifully put. Yeah. And, and. But, you know, the, the Quran has many, many, many levels of meaning. I forget how many people, you know, some people have said seven levels and God knows how many levels people have seen over the centuries. Uh, and, you know, that, that's what's amazing about the Quran, that there's something which is clearly a prescription for behavior. Do this, don't do that. And then you look at it another way and you say, but but look at the metaphysical resonance of, of that. that. That's got... That there's so much more to that, that, that than the literal, but you know, if if the, the literal grounds it, you know, and, and uh, you know, the, 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 there there's the te temptation of the Wahhabi Salafis to to limit everything to the literal and and say, you know, to 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 inquire or imagine anything else is 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 impious and and it's not to be done, you know. And then of course, some Sufis have have the opposite problem of flying off into you know, God knows what kind of tawil, you know, you know, batini tafsir, you know, looking for all the the inner meanings, and they forget that it has to be grounded in 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 behavior and and in, in following the norms of the religion. Mm. 
Uh, and that's the, the, that that's that tension, of course, is, has been probably from day one. You know, there were always people, you know, who, who would err in one direction or the other. What's so amazing about our prophet is 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 that he encompassed the entire uh, field, the entire spectrum from the most inner to the most outer just, you know, effortlessly because that was who he was. Yes, and make a point of saying, now we're going to do the inner thing. Now we're going to do the outer thing. It, that was, it was all one for him, you know. So. Mashallah. Okay. So let's get started with the links, inshallah. And uh, I'll let you do the, I guess, commentary on them um, as we go along. So just for the viewers, we're going to like go through links some of them may be broken because it's been a while, but we're going to go through links. There were 40 plus. I don't think we'll have time to go through all 40, uh, but we'll see what we can manage within the hour, inshallah. But uh, what will be accomplished from this is that, you know, hu there's a human aspect to Muslims and many Muslims do. It's, uh, it's kind of like genetically uh, or internally imbued within Muslims to act in a certain way, even if it's with other people of other faiths. And uh, what else would you add to that? Would you add something else to that? Well, I, I, I was, I was going to say earlier that, you know, um, when we were dis rediscovering the covenants of the prophet Muhammad, who uh, with particularly the Christians of the world, most, most covenants, not all were made with Christians. We just saw what 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 great love he had for Christians and what what respect he had for. I mean, he, he was capable of respecting the Christian way and and saying, you know, Christian the Christians are good because they're amongst among them. But then he would also say, but there are, there's no monasticism in Islam. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people will just you know that they, they can't they can't think two two things at once, right? You, which you know which which was real, you know. One one was what he really believed, and the other was was something he rejected, and and those verses have been abrogated or whatever people do because they don't see the comprehensiveness, you know, you know, it's it's like how how do we, how do we respect other human beings? We say this person is different from me. If you say I'll only respect you if you're exactly like me, there's no respect in that. This person is different from me. He has a different, um, you know. A, a different calling from Allah he has, has different virtues and, and and a different, you know, view of reality. And this is very interesting. But I'm not just going to adopt his view because Allah has has, has given me my own view and, and and has given me you know my own tradition you know which is Islam and I'm that, that that's what I follow. You know why 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 should I look to the right or the left when it comes to my own behavior? On the other hand, you know the world is wide. And, and, and Allah is not just the, the, you know, the God of the Muslims or the Arabs or, or, or the Persians. God is, you know, Allah is, is the God of all, you know. So, and 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 to, it's very hard for people to, to hold universality and particularity together in the same vision these days. They just, it's always been hard, but it's particularly hard now hmm. because both both go to hell. You know, people, you know, can can destroy all real faith through universality, and they can destroy all real, you know, love, compassion, and respect through particularity and 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 making an idol. What I say is, religion is the best of pursuits and the worst of idols. You know, it's so interesting. You know, it's so interesting. Subhanallah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so anyway, we we were rediscovering these covenants, and at the same time. These news uh, uh, um, reports were coming through of apparently spontaneous. Now I I don't know what you know what was really behind the, you know some of these actions of 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 uh, Muslims protecting Christians and Christian churches. You know when there were threats from ISIS. Mm. You know and 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 uh, and you know probably from other. So I shouldn't I shouldn't use the word Salafi simply to mean terrorist, which is not fair. But you know, from from other other people of that general persuasion, you know, there, there was there was a lot of attacks on 
on Christian churches. And, you know, re recent, just recently, another Coptic church burned in Egypt. We don't know why. I haven't, I haven't been following, you know, but, uh, you know, if anyone's taken credit for that. Uh, but um, uh, so, so Muslims came forward and says, say, well, the, the, these are our, our Christians are our, also believers our brothers are our brothers in in the belief in the one god we have differences but you know we, 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 you know burning their churches killing them is not right and so there there were some muslims who um you know at the risk of their own lives you know would make a, a human circle around a church you know on on easter hmm. you know and come for, and then and what's interesting is this is is exactly what the Prophet Muhammad commands all Muslims to do until the end of time is to defend the Christians with force of arms, you know, or with their lives if need be. Mm. And 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 this this was was actually enacted by people. And now I, I don't know what kind, you know, it appears spontaneous because that, you know, that's as far as as the news story goes. There might have been a whole process uh, of, of people deciding, you know, and and debating and and uh you know determining what whether this was the right course of action but it would seem there would have to be a spontaneous aspect because things were happening so fast you know if you could, couldn't have been you know a uh a, 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 you know a, a consensus of scholars or you know a, a a consensus of a particular you know movement within islam that we should do this because those things take time and there wasn't any time you know, so there there must have been uh, uh, a really spontaneous element to it. There were actually, you know, we'll find somewhere in those links. I, I forget which one it is, but there there are some. <coughs> there were, I believe, a couple of Muslim women who gave their lives hmm. to, you know, as martyrs to hmm. defend Christians from ISIS. Hmm. You know, it, it was something to do with an attack on a bus or something. And we'll we'll I'll see, we'll see if we can find it in those links. So this was was very impressive and. The question is, you know, this needs, this was not recognized. I mean, it was reported, of course, but it was not recognized. It not, did not become part of, it seems to me, the, the, the view of what was going on either among Muslims or non-Muslims. It was, you know, it didn't have the kind of context uh, or it was too unexpected. And, you know, how does that fit in? You know, to 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 our to our view of things or to our prejudices, whatever they may be. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it would be it would be wonderful if there was more of a context and if this became sort of part of recognized history, at least among Muslims. You know, then then uh, uh, actions like this would have some context if people felt like something like this needed to be done, or or you know that th they would have. Uh, you know, some background to, to look back to and say, well, wait a minute, this is this is something that has been done before. And, and then you want to look back a little farther and you're saying this is something that is in the prophet's covenants and he commanded this. Mm -hmm. And and th this this could become a, uh, you know, a more of a recognized, uh, you know, correct way of behaving within Islam. So. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't mind, I want to add just a dimension to this. Please. And that is that uh, even you, you could say if you go one le level over Christianity, the Ahlul Kitab, for which obviously we have some deeper connection, right? When the Prophet was in Mecca uh, and the verse of the Quran came down, bin Qutilat, why do you kill this child girl? Yeah. Right? I mean, the Quran wasn't saying this to Muslims at that time. It was saying this to non-Muslims, pagans, you know. And so that was like a type of social critique the Quran was doing of the people of Mecca. And uh, I don't, I think you can further extend that to other aspects like Woe unto those who defraud other in business, uh, not specific to Muslims. Uh and I think this was a significant component for Pro the Prophet Sallallahu creating a social movement. Yes. That, meaning uh, he was all alone. <laughs> and when he was all alone, he's 
critiquing that society, or or very few people are with him. And he's critiquing that society. Even Tabbat Yada, may the hands of Abu Lahab be cut off, even though particularly it has to do with a specific event. But everyone knew who Abu Lahab is in terms of behavior and personality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's more like, look at this tyrant. You know, who does he think he is? And Araita Ladi Yukadibu Biddin. Did you see the one who uh, makes a lie out of the day of judgment. He's the one who pushes away the orphan. So again, the orphan there is not a Muslim. Right. It's the orphan. Well, and, and since the, the, the prophet, you know, with the constitution of Medina and the covenants was envisioning a federation of the peoples of the book, like I say, of course, I mean, because morality is, is, is universal in essence. It's part of the fitra. It's universal and indivisible in a sense, yes. right? It's not like yes. it's one thing for Muslims and then another thing for non-Muslims, except maybe in very rare cases of law, which I yeah. I, don't, I can't remember a specific instance, but uh, generally, universally, the rule is it's indivisible. So the morality is morality. Well, I mean, you know, Christ, Christians are, 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 are not going to be persecuted for drinking wine because th th that that is you know part of their form right you know and uh and but muslims are not to drink wine and things like that i mean that there 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 are differences in 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 the minutiae of 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 what is considered to be you know uh moral or immoral you know according to a particular law or a particular form but what is really universal is virtue hmm. I mean, courage is the same for anyone. Compassion is the same for anyone. You know, the other thing I was when I was reading the covenants, I remember this statement that got stuck in my mind, and the Prophet said to the Muslims that the Christians never betrayed him in Arabia, mm -hmm. compared to other groups, you can say. So. He said, they never betrayed me, so be mindful that they never betrayed me. Yeah. So there is a, a sense of debt in the sense that Christians in the time of the Prophet were good to the Prophet, and they kept their yeah. word. And, and, you know, the, the Christians had recognized his prophethood very early, mm. you know, Christian monks, and, and, and the... Uh, you know the, the the negus of Abyssinia had had protected you know the the Muslims who had immigrate you know to get away from persecution and the Christians were, you know, were helpful uh, to, to the Muslims from day one. Mm. So yeah, and you know how they opened their arms for Jerusalem when Omar bin Khattab came in. So I mean that whole area eventually became Muslim over time. Yeah, it's, you know. So anyway, so yes, please Bismillah. Yeah. So do you do you see the uh, list yes, of links now? Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. So as I was saying before, this first article is is just Christianity in Syria is under threat from forces the West is supporting. This is when we were trying to make it clear that the United States that seemed to be attacking ISIS and was attacking parts of ISIS. It's a very, it's a messy situation. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, uh, at, at, one, at one point it, it appeared as if forces uh, being supported by the Pentagon were in arms against forces being supported by the CIA. That's what it looked like, you know, and I'm, I can't say that's that for certain, but it was that that messy a situation. So in any way, there was there was a degree of of support for ISIS definitely coming from the United States. In fact, somewhere I've got a link to to, to an article which says you know uh, when, when ISIS was was being you know driven back in Syria at one point uh, American uh, forces allowed a contingent of ISIS fighters to leave, and as far as I was concerned, that was probably the uh, you know the mercenary leadership under the pay of the United States, and and whereas the poor cannon fodder who had joined ISIS because they thought they were defending Islam were left to die. You know that's what it looked like. I can't say that definitely happened. So anyway, that's that's the more political military thing. 
but world's biggest Muslim organization wants to protect Christians. Now this is, oh, Secretary of State John Kerry recently confirmed what most already knew ISIS is committing genocide against Christians and other religious minorities in the Middle East. And uh, yeah, that, that, that was um, partly due, you know, to our efforts and the efforts of, of some other people, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, Bishop Calabat of the Chaldean Christians of Iraq, who was in exile in the United States, sent out a call and said, you know, what ISIS is doing has to be defined as, as genocide and as war crimes because various things can swing, you know, responses can swing into action once those definitions are in place. And so we did a petition on change.org to ask for them, mm. you know, and, uh, and there was, I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting some of the other major players, but there were other major players, you know, there, there was uh, genocide watch, I think was the name of a group. And, you know, we, we all jumped in at the same time. And so none of us can really take total credit for it, but we were involved and, and we were, uh, uh, you know, the, 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 the uh, U.S. military magazine, the, the major U.S. military publication, Stars and Stripes, actually came out and, and, and credited us with, you know, uh, you know, with, with having a hand in getting uh, Congress to declare ISIS to be practicing genocide, and which, and then later John Kerry came out with that statement. So we were right in with that one. So. That's, yeah, hist history. We're doing history here. We're doing reminiscence. <laughs> reminiscence. Okay. Muslims in Jordan guard churches on Easter Sunday. Well, they did. Wow, mashallah. Oh. It's great. Okay, no thanks. Because uh, th 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 this is, you know, I mean, th th that, that was, the other stuff was political and there they are. Um. Young Muslims across Jordan stood guard to protect churches on Easter Sunday so that Christians could celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ in peace. Mm. That's exactly what was commanded in yeah. most of the covenants of the prophet uh, with the Christians of the world. And these people may never have heard of those documents, but that that, that shows how deeply, you know, that the, the content and, and, and the spirit of the covenants, you know, got in, in into uh into the muslim soul so mm -hmm. <clears throat> so at this point there were no known threats but there were plenty of threats in the world and so so somebody let's see according to telesur Qasim uh um Karasbe was one of the organizers of the initiative in in Balkan and uh, posted a call on his Facebook page, which says Sunday night will be our fellow Christians praying in their churches and performing religious rituals. Some mercenaries, very interested. He says they're mercenaries, right? He doesn't say some mm. misguided Muslim believers. He said some mercenaries paid to dress as Muslims, you know, possibly. Yeah. Uh, very good. Uh, um. Uh, are threatening uh, to, to our internal security and trying to int intimidate uh, from entering churches, as in Egypt the other day. So, yeah, Egypt was it was a major place where this took place. And um, let me get here and get the date from the next one, so we'll know what the time frame we're talking. About. Well, there's no clear date here, but. Iraq's Muslims celebrate Christmas in solidarity with Christians. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, one thing people don't realize is these people have been neighbors for centuries. Yeah. Yes. Right. And and as I, I think I said last time as well, you know, before the Crusades, the Hajj uh, uh, for those who could afford to, to, to do a larger Hajj, you know, would, would go to a lot of Christian sacred sites, you know, and, and Jewish sacred sites that would go to Sinai, you know, um, which, which is, you know, continues the spirit of, 
uh, the prophet w wanting there to be a, a confederation of the peoples of the book. So the U.S. Muslim and Christian coalition join in solidarity with those in need of peace and justice. Well, you know, that's that's more of a social, quasi-political thing, which is a good thing. But, oh yeah, a Muslim landowner in the Philippines took in Christians to protect them from Islamic extremists. Hmm. Yeah, in the Philippines, the, the, the first time we realized that the covenants were having an effect in the world was when ISIS burned St. Mary's Cathedral in, in Mindanao, and the uh, uh, head of state of, of the, um, what's it called, the autonomous Muslim region of Mindanao, whatever the name of, of, of it is, I forget the exact name, came out and said, well, this is un-Islamic because it violates the covenants. Mm -hmm. And people, I, I, you know, I'm convinced that that would not have been said if we hadn't brought them forward at that point. Mm -hmm. And it's it's like, it didn't become, Dr. Morrow's book did, did not sell like hotcakes, you know, it, it's, but, but you know, it, it, where it went, it went a number of places in the world and it, and it went very deeply. You know, it penetrated deeply instead of widely, which is always better because if you penetrate deeply, then then it can become wide later. You know, it's like when the Quran came to the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. It was just to one man. Mm. You know, it, 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 you know, Jibril did, did did not come with 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 a PR plan of how to sell this. You know, <laughs> he, he just said, you know. If if you as the prophet you know understand this so deeply that 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 you become you know a walking human form of the Quran, which is what Aisha said the prophet was, mm. you know, then everything will flow from that. So don't worry about you know where it's going to go. Just get to the, to the depth of it at one point. Mm. Everything that 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 has been powerful in human history has started in some one point like that. It started with usually one individual. You know, that that's, you know, because prophethood, I, 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 you know, I, I could be, uh, you know, I have to be careful. I, I, I don't go overboard here, but I could say that, that prophethood is, is the highest example and, 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 and the most divine example of a general principle that that all you know e e e either new visions of truth or or renewals of ancient visions of truth mm. come to come to one individual mm. you know at one point i mean and and once once that because one individual has to receive it completely Hmm. And, you know, if one individual turns to another and say, well, do you see what I see? Or do you think this is true? Or do you see that angel? You know, yeah. you know, no, I mean, I mean, you, you know, the, the, the prophet ha ha had had to be, you know, complete, uh, completely receptive to to the word of Allah. And, and, and out of that came numbers, whereas if you try to start with numbers, you know, and say, well, I'll, I'll get some friends, you know, to, to, to come next time to say, you know, to, to tell me I'm not crazy, you know, <laughs> that I'm not really seeing this angel, you know, then nothing, nothing would have happened. So, right. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, so this is, yeah, that's, well, that's the Philippines, you know, so some, some, someone was taking in Christians when, you know, felt they were in danger, which undoubtedly they were. So here, film. We, we we don't know about this, but this is this is maybe something you could check into and see if this could be useful. Mm -hmm. Film is showing Muslims protecting Christians nominated for. Let me move this window for Oscar. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it if it won an Oscar, but but it you know it was was very uh, very much uh, lauded as 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 a film. Yeah, there was not only a a film, but uh. There was a little acting troupe in uh, in Britain who, whose uh, director was Lukman somebody. I forget his name. But they put on this little skit of the prophet receiving, uh, you know, 
granting the first covenant to the monks of Mount Sinai and you know the story of the e the eagle appearing above his head they had a little puppet eagle that appeared above his head you know and that the that the, the the monks of Sinai uh, recognized that because the eagle according to the story told uh, was hovering above the prophet's head that 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 he had uh, you know there, there was something very special about him and about his granting the first covenant and they this they did this little skit they would put it on in malls in uh, in Britain you know so so evidence of protecting Christians rights churches in Islam evidence mm-hmm Okay, so we'll go on to some more. Oh, Muslims hailed. I'll let this appear again because it's got ads. Yeah, Muslims hailed for protecting Christians during terror attack on Kenyan bus. But yeah, I think this is where those women lost their lives. Let's see. Oh, yeah, passengers donated headscarves. To help prevent non-Muslims being targeted after Al Shabaab militants stormed a packed vehicle, mm. you know, I mean, wow. Yeah, two people died in the attack on Monday in northern Mandera County when gunmen believed to be part of the Somali Islamist group Al Shabaab shot at the bus and truck headed for Madera town. The regional government coordinator. Uh, Mohammed Saleh said the bus was traveling from the capital city, Nairobi, with 60 passengers on board when it was stopped at Papa City by a group of militants who shot the windscreen, witnesses said. Some of the Muslim passengers gave non-Muslims headscarves to try and conceal their identities when the bus stopped. Witnesses said a man entered the bus, ordered everyone to get out, and formed two separate groups of non-Muslims and Muslims. One person a non-Muslim decided to run and was shot in the back and died, Hussein said. He he said several non-Muslims managed, managed to survive the attack thanks to donated scarves. Well, that's not the way I remember it exactly, but that's a very inspiring story. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, okay. When 300 Muslims defended Christians, but few noticed, and few did notice generally. I mean, th th this this should have been... Front no. page news around the you world. Know, CNN should have been talking about this, but you know, of course. So, this is Indonesia. Something notable occurred occurred in May in Indonesia. Now, this is uh, 2016. That's generally the time frame. Mm. August 20, 2016. Um, something notable occurred. Muslims came to the defense of persecuted Christians, as reported in Christianity Today. And CNN, well, CNN, but you know, stories, if if there's no context for the story, it's just like a weird anomaly, you know, and you know, oh, wow, they saw a UFO over, over uh, Michigan, you know, <laughs> wow, I wonder what that was, and then it's gone, you know, so 300 Islamic leaders from 30 countries came together to denounce religious extremism within Islam. And there have been so many of those fatwas. Yes, of I mean, there were from India. There was something like seventy thousand. You know, I mean, in, in Indians can can definitely create large crowds. You know, and there was you know it was something like seventy thousand mullahs or something in in one vast gathering, who sort of by by acclamation it must have been you know agreed with, you know, or, or put their names to a fatwa, you know, s s defending Christians, you know, it was just, but you never hear those things, you know, and, and all, all the, uh, all the rhetoric in, in, in the United States was polarized. And like I say, the, the Muslim extremists and Christian Islamophobic extremists have essentially the same idea of Islam. You know, they quote, you know, the same, uh, ayat of, of the Quran out of context, you know, that's, you know, you know, the, the, the uh, ex Muslim extremists will say, you know, kill them wherever you find them. And then the 
the Islamophobe Christians will say, see, kill them wherever they, you find them. That's what they, that's what they say. And, and, and they, they were very much alike. You know, and and they were doing a feed, a wonderful feedback loop between each other, and 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 most of 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 the religion, most of the tradition was completely lost in that kind of polarization. Of course, we're seeing that in every <coughs> field, in every way. You know, this is the time of polarization, and so much is lost. So, Kurdistan continues to protect Christians. Mm. That. You know, if the Kurds protect Christians, can the Turks do it too? Of course they can. They might not want to. Well, this is a video. How Arab Christians see Hezbollah versus... Well, there's a nice militant image. Hezbollah defends Christians from ISIS and FSA terror gangs. Okay. Hello, Mr. Cruz. And their state sponsors like Syria and Iran. Are all engaged in a vicious genocidal campaign to destroy religious minorities in the Middle East. And today Except Hezbollah defends Christians from ISIS and FSA terror gangs. So that right. that was shown. That, that you know to show what the prejudice was. I remember that there there was a group called, uh, uh, was it? I think it was in defense of Christians. It, you know, is is a Christian group uh, that has headquarters like so many do in D.C. and uh, and uh, Mr. Cruz spoke to that group, and uh, we we just remember it was very interesting because there, there were many. Um, Eastern Orthodox uh, hierarchs there. And, and he was speaking to the Eastern Orthodox hierarchs as if they were evangelical Christians, because he didn't really know who they were. Mm -hmm. And he was talking about how all Christians have to support Israel. And that did not go over very well with them, you know? So that, 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 was, that was a fun moment. G generally, you know, I I Iran, you know, has, has been better in, in, in relations with Christians then certainly Saudi Arabia, which mm. is not so much. It says, we are Christians join forces with Hezbollah to fight ISIS in Lebanon. Mm. Who's ever heard of that? Yeah. You know, <laughs> that, 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 that drops through, you know, drops through the, 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 uh, the information net, if you will, that, that, that disappeared. But, you know, no, see, these are very significant developments that no one's ever heard of. Yeah, in Hezbollah stronghold, Lebanese Christians find respect <coughs> you know, and uh, you know, that's... it is actually amazing when you think about it, and it's yeah. actually quite natural because yeah, you know, well, Christians have been neighbors in in the entire Middle East, really. Yeah, and. You know, like like in Kosovo, I mean, so so much of of that conflict between people who had been neighbors for centuries was just inflamed by outside forces. Mm. You know, you know, R R Russia supports the Serbs, the United States supports the Muslims, wants to, you know. So that's what happens. We'll 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 pay you to fight each other. You know, it just took me a day, you know, looking around the web to bring these together. But they weren't brought together anywhere, you know. I mean, I put I put them together on my website, but mm -hmm. you know that 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 they show a complete. See that there there are major things that go on in the world, you know, major macro patterns, which, uh, you know, just get no coverage at all. Because... Okay, here's. Yeah, this is Kenyan Muslim man who died. That's what I'm, you know, I, I was mixing the, the another story of a Kenyan Muslim man who died protecting Christians in terror attack, awarded top honor, Post, posthumously awarded one of Kenya's most pre prestigious honors. President Uhuru Kenyatta awarded Salah Farah the Order of the Grand Warrior of Kenya in recognition of his remarkable act of valor. So, 
So this page is gone. That, that, that's about protecting Coptic Christians. That, that was one of the major yeah. actions during that time was because there were Coptic churches that were getting burned, you know, as one, as I said, recently did. We don't know why, or I don't say it was burned, but it did burn. Christians protect, and now this is Christians protect mosques on Friday, Muslims guard churches on Sunday. Hmm. This is uh, Cameroon. Well, anyway, that's that's that story. So so it, it becomes Cameroon, yeah. and and that's that. Well, there, there was that, that mosque in Philadelphia that 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 was you know there was a massacre, and not mosque, uh, synagogue, a mass, synagogue. Mass, yes. a, yeah. massacre, massacre at a synagogue in Philadelphia, and then there was a mosque. Was it not in New Zealand that came out? you know, in, in solidarity with them and, and collected money for them, you know. And these things, you know, this is a kind of action that needs to be known by everybody, you mm. know. I mean, and 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 it, it it needs to be seen as sort of a natural thing to do. And like I like I said last time, if the different religions would realize they're they are under attack in many cases by common enemies. You know, like one of these articles said you know, described ISIS as the mercenaries, you know, and the mercenaries are not, are not paid. The mm. mercenaries are paid by, you know, by outside uh, funding sources, outside nations, mm. you know, a, 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 there are, many of them are hired by, by non-Islamic nations like the United States. I mean, there, there was a, there was clearly a bidding war between Russia and the United States about who, who was going to, you know, uh, control ISIS. Mm. And, you know, and ISIS played played them against each other, and you know, and 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 would go over to one side, and, and you know, and, and get arms and funding, and then say, "Oops, we changed our mind," and go over to the other side. And this was going on, you know, may still be going on for all I know. I'm not up on that right now. Yeah. Okay. Cameroon's Muslims and Christians unite against Boko Haram. Boko Haram. That's another one. Cameroon Christians have started guarding mosques during prayer sessions, and Muslims are also guarding churches after five attacks on mosques by suspected Boko Haram fighters. So in the West, we will he hear, you know, Boko Haram goes after Christians. Muslims go after Christians. You don't hear Boko Haram going after Muslims and Christians protecting the Muslims from Boko Haram. That is never reported. Well, in very small ways. You know. Muslims, Christians unite amid Bangui, or that's Korean, Bangui religious violence. Now, where is that? Central Africa. Central Africa. Okay. The Seleka rebels. Oh. Boy, I mean, look what, look what was left of Africa after colonialism. Mm. There are even some in Africa, sadly, you know, I don't know how, how, you know, how widespread this is, but, you know, can't we get the French back in here again to keep us from killing each other, you know, which is terrible, you know, because that's not going to help either. You know, you can, you know, the, the, that that's how bad the aftermath of colonialism was that people could even imagine mm. that 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 they might want something like that, you know, uh, and and it's all you know that's what colonialism did. Who knows what you know that tri those tribal societies would have evolved into on their own, mm. you know, if if there hadn't been the colonial intervention. We it's hard to tell, but you know certainly, you know, the the, the, the remains a. a, a a very negative kind of tribalism in so much of Africa. So, you know, everybody outside our circle is not human. Well, that's a that's a, a universal human feeling, you know. A, you know that that we're talking about how the United States is becoming more tribal at this point. Native Americans, though. Yeah, they, they had the problem with, with tribalism, but also, you know, think of that great Iroquois Confederacy. Think, think, think of how 
you know, the tribes were, were evolving, you know, in, 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 into, into something that, that, that might have transcended the, the, the constant intertribal tensions. You know, mm. they, they, were, they were moving in that direction. Africa could have done that. We, but we will, we will never know how, it, how either of them would have evolved because of uh, European colonialism. I guess you could almost call it colonialism in North America, too. Anyway, um, this one is a Unite Against Bungi Religious Violence. How did they do it? You know, conflict that killed around 400, 450 people in just one week in Bangi, capital of Central African Republic. 200 Muslim men surround Christian church on Christmas Day to protect worshipers. That's African community issues. Where is this? What nation? Nigeria. Nigeria. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, and and these were these were wonderful. You see, a lot of them were ad hoc ad hoc things, and it's it's not like they need to be organized, that some group needs to come and say, well, fine, we love, like what you're doing, we will we'll be your leadership now, and we'll organize it, and we'll do it. You know, maybe a certain amount of that could help, but it also has great drawbacks. What it needs to be is understood as something that has happened, mm. and that could happen again, and, and that is, as you say, is natural, you know? It's, so, you know, just, just telling the story is the, is the power, I think. Absolutely. So, that was uh, three Muslim women died defending Christians Palm Sunday. The one that the link wasn't working. Ah. Viral so photo that, shows Muslims defending Catholic Church in Egypt. So, I mean, those people are are, are truly martyrs. Yeah, and, and th this, if I'm not mistaken, is, is the most visually impressive. Yeah. So there are Muslims defending, that's a church in, defending Catholic Church in Egypt. It doesn't say it's Easter, but, you know, the, that's the human shield, the human ring the Muslims made around the Catholic Church. So that deserves to be a poster, boy. That's really great. Mm. For protecting Christians in Egypt's Al Kosus. Senior Coptic bishop has praised Muslims in Al Kosus who attempted to protect Christians during a recent bout of sectarian violence that left five people dead. The loving Muslims who protected Christians and the church during the deadly clashes in Al Kosus highlighted the mistakes of the fanatics and showed the true meaning of religion and love. Bishop Musa who is in charge of youth affairs at the Coptic Orthodox Church, said in a statement on Wednesday, our only consolation is that the victims gave their lives as a testimony to God and their pure souls ascended to heaven, he added. Egypt's Coptic Orthodox Pope Tawadros II, along with other bishops, will on Thursday accept condolences from public figures at the papal headquarters in Abbasia, etc., etc. Well, there's another story. Muslims return favor, join hands with Christian protesters for mass in Cairo's Tahrir Square. So I guess the Muslims protected the Christians. I mean, the Christians protected the Muslims first, and the Muslims returned the favor. This is another place where it's hard to, mm -hmm. a lot of pop-ups, but you know. Yeah. I mean, you know, this, uh, this is so inspiring. If it just if it was just known, and and people you know could, could place themselves in in the field and not under under the, the grace and the power of this inspiration, uh, movements would happen by themselves. People wouldn't happen happen you know because you know I'm saying you know with us and the Covenants Initiative we could never manage the the thing that we helped start. You know, mm -hmm. and, and a lot of it we don't even know about. You know, mm -hmm. once in a while I say people get back to us and say, hey, you know, 
you know, look at this link. This is what we're doing. But, you know, it it, it went off. It went off. And, and you know, and, and people made it their own. Uh, you know, we, we didn't we didn't perhaps if if well, we didn't really want to own it in that way. The most powerful mm -hmm. thing is to give it away because it doesn't belong to us to begin with. Mm -hmm. So you say, look, you know. Um, you know, it belongs to anybody who recognizes what it is, which we saw before, but, but it's a different article. Some surprising and hopeful signs, Muslims defend Jews, Jews defend Muslims. Mm. So it grows. You know, and 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 that that's what we saw with with, you know, the, the Philadelphia um, synagogue attack in the uh, New Zealand mosque. But th th this is, I guess, in, in Egypt, because that's a, yeah, that's in Egypt. So. And this, see, if this were known, this could grow, because, you know, what happens is, is, you know, when, when there's a crisis, you know, people come out of their shells and and can do amazing things. Then, people are are, are under the illusion that things have gone back to normal, which they never will again. You know, mm. we're we're, we're going to be in a state of crisis from now until the hour, because this is this is the. Uh, the age the Phaeton, you know this is the tribulation so that um, last one with tribune.com.pk uh muslims form human chain to protect christians during lahore so this is in pakistan oh even pakistan yes so the last okay. link you have here right uh in this screen yeah this is the juice is the first link on here Oh yeah, it's already up there. So, yeah. so some of these are going to be a little repetitive. Thousands yeah, of that's Egypt, fine. thousands of Egyptian Muslims show up as human shields to defend Coptic Christians from terrorism. So that, that, that it was bigger than, you know, that photograph showed. Mm -hmm. Um. Human chain formed to protect Christians during the Lahore mass. So that's Pakistan. Yeah. That's Pakistan, yeah. There's that. One nation, one blood. You know, I mean, nationalism can be good sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> one God, one nation, why one God? You know, I'm a little more partial to one God, but one nation is okay. This is France now. Muslims protect, Chris, pr protect Christmas mass after France tightens security at churches. So this is the same thing in France. Mm. So who's, who is saying this? So we want to say that we are all together. We are brothers. We are in the same boat. If the boat sinks, we all sink. If mentally ill people want to kill us, They'll have to kill us all together. El Chazoui uh, uh, reportedly said in a statement. Who is he? Well, he's a Muslim anyway. It's the Pas de Calais. So that's... E even Europe. Wow. Imagine liberal things happening in Europe. Um, yeah. France heightened security. Ancient origins. Now, this is why is the holiest shrine in Christianity guarded by two Muslim families? Yeah, this is a wow. story. This is in Jerusalem. Yeah, this is the, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, guarded, mm. you know, by, by, by a traditional, you know, Sharifs, if you will, you know, uh, uh, two Muslim families, you know, I, I guess on a hereditary basis. How long does that go back? Mm hmm. Does that go back to, to the Pact of Omar? <laughs> Could be. Could be, yeah, absolutely. Could be. So, Muslims raised over $100,000 to help rebuild black church, churches in the South. Wow. Yeah, that, that was, you know, the, the, there are a lot of black churches getting burned in the South. Mm -hmm. I am trying to remember, you know, Fatima Knight was a woman. 
uh, you know, a, an American Muslim woman who was raising, you know, consciousness and money to, to uh, defend the black churches. Uh, who are being, who, who, exactly, you know, there an awful lot of churches have been burned in this country, are burned every year, and it mm. isn't reported. A lot of them are small rural churches. These, This was reported because it was black churches. And they say, oh, well, then we understand that. That's mm. that's racist. You know, we, that, that's that's one of the frameworks we see things through, which it is probably is racist. But plenty of other churches are being burned, you know. Mm. And when Black Lives Matter was, what, what was that, 2020, was demonstrating, you know, there was, I, I, I hate to bring Donald Trump into this in, in any kind of positive light, and it wasn't really that positive, but the, the, there was an Episcopal church where a fire was set during one of those demonstrations. You don't know who did it. You don't know if it was Black Lives Matter or if it was a, a false flag, you know, and, and Trump jumped on it and pulled out the Bible and, you know, was was it was a, you know, a, a, a evangelical minister for a day, you know, and, 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 and tried to make political political capital on that. But yet, you know, the, the, there is there's a real hatred of Christianity in in um, this country. And in Europe, there's a hatred of Christians. Mm. And, you know, there, there's, and th that's something that a lot of Christians don't accept, you know, because we go to, I go to this Christian Muslim, or I have in the past, Christian Muslim dialogue in Lexington, Kentucky. And it's, you know, most of the Christians, except for, for the one, you know, Islamophobe, Deward Ham, the Islamophobe, who, who you know, uh, is necessary to be there because you know we get we get that that story you know we get that perspective, but most of them are liberal ministers, but they're so liberal that that you know I I was talking about persecution yeah. of Christians you know even when ISIS was doing it was and and one of the ministers was saying Christians aren't being persecuted uh -huh. you know because his idea is 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 an idea which maybe nobody. That was a few years ago. Maybe no, nobody thinks this way anymore in the Christian world. But, you know, we're the civic religion, the established civic religion of the United States. We're mainstream Protestants. This doesn't happen to us. Well, sorry. You know, that's not what's happening anymore. You know, and, and just, just you know, the, the, the hatred and the hatred of Christianity has it spreads out to a hatred of God and the hatred of all religion. You know, and, mm -hmm. and if you just, just look at, at the, the satires against Christians and against Christ, you know, if they happen in a Muslim nation, you know, th th there would be violence. But Christians say, oh, well, sure, they make fun of Jesus. They just don't understand. And there's no, see, everything is, is an extreme. That is an extreme of passivity and, mm. and saying, you know, well, you know, you know, Jesus, you know, we, we're, 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 we, we forgive every everybody even before they do anything we <laughs> forgive everybody so we don't have any responsibility to stand for what we believe mm. you know that's the negative side of forgiveness forgiveness is a great power but it shouldn't be used that way mm. you know and and then the, there are people you know so you you say say you know you do, you do a cartoon satirizing <laughs> the prophet muhammad we will kill you and burn your buildings and you know and i'm sorry there, there, there's got to be a, a a happy and a difficult happy medium between those those extremes. That's mm. you know, like you know uh, what, what I would say to the man that that that, that knifed Salman Rushdie. You know, uh, mm. I understand why, but I don't think it was a good idea. I like to follow Shakespeare in this, who said, "Blood is no argument." Isn't that no. a great line? Blood is no argument. You know, if Salman Rushdie, you know, satirizes the prophet and, and Islam, he has wronged himself more severely than anyone could wrong him with a mere knife. Yeah, you know? that's true. So, you know, you, if, if you think you have to add injury to insult, then that then you don't really understand what's going on. You know, and, and, and it, it is, of course, not good for the perception of Islam and it's and it's and it's and it's in itself cruel, you know. And cruelty, the problem with cruelty is it makes you stupid. Mm. So, anyway, black churches, churches in the South, yeah. And so Muslims support black church. Now, and of course, 
this is possible because so many blacks are Muslims in this country, you know, mm. so they can see, you know, you know, that they, they have, um, you know, race in common. And so this is understandable. So, uh, now here we go. This is straight out of the covenants. Mo Muslim, the Muslims building a Christian church in Pakistan. Hmm. And, you know, th this is what the, the prophet said in um, the number of his covenants with the Christians, you know, that, that it would be a pious act for Muslims to, to you know, if, if a Christian church falls into disrepair, the Muslims, you know, it sh sh should, you know, it would be good for them to help the Christians rebuild the church. You know, and so here we go. That is exciting. And I don't know if this man has ever heard of the covenants of the prophet. Huh. But it, 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 he would certainly be happy if he did hear them because, right. he, you know, there are some people and I can't speak for him and for these people. But, uh, you know, there's some people who just feel it's right. And they may, you know, that, that and, and other people may say, why are you doing this? You know, what do, the Christians, what have the Christians done for us? And why, you know, and, and somebody just says, well, I'm sorry, I just feel it's right. But they may not have they will not have the confidence in their feeling, no matter how sincere and true it is, that they would have if they knew the covenants of the prophet. And they said, guess what? The prophet commanded this. So, so what, what you got to simply on the level of conscience, and no one, people don't trust their own consciences, you know, unfortunately. Or maybe it's better, you know, not just to believe every voice you hear in your head, but, you know, but, uh, you know, what, what, what a support it would be for this kind of action if people knew of the covenant so um so two more i'm going to move on from this one because it's not coming up so the next one the last one dangerous website blocked that's how you know you're done so, <laughs> a mosque helps catholic church to recover from shocking vandalism was the last one and the one yeah. before that was muslims pitch help Catholic neighbors rebuild church destroyed Churches. by the storm, I guess. Yeah. So. <clears throat> well, and you know, <clears throat> so whatever we can do, and let, you know, now we can say if anyone, because, you know, you, you, you remind me of the power of, of these stories, right? Mm -hmm. And, uh, I would say now, if anybody wants to, to make a contribution to the Covenants of the Prophet Foundation, we will see, what I, what I will suggest is, is that it go toward whatever we can do to get stories like this out mm -hmm. to everybody. You know, and then this, you know, it takes, you know, you, 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 you need... You need you need a staff person, <laughs> you know, to to do the legwork. You need you know you need if if you're really going to get it around. So this shows that uh, religion, uh, and then specifically Islam, does have the capacity to cooperate with you know other religions, and I think Islam gives us a very strong philosophical foundation for that which is there's one god and we're all from the same parents and then of course then we have the, in some cases we have the same prophets or the same known characters in history uh you know the people of the book and so i think that's a much stronger philosophical foundation of unity of humanity than even humanism uh, well, yeah, the, the, this is what Dr. Morrow emphasized. He said that the, that the prophet in the Constitution of Medina and the uh, the covenants came up with essentially a universal declaration of human rights, you know, before, well, let's say a lot of this stuff went, goes back to the French Revolution, you know, liberal humanism and, and, and the rights of man. We say the rights of man. Well, that started with the French Revolution, but the French Revolution was a revolution against God because the church, you know, it was perceived, Catholic Church was perceived as or had become a pillar of a very repressive regime, you know, and so the, the, the revolution against that regime turned against the church and turned against God. I mean, what, what happened, 
you know, the, the cathedrals were officially desacralized. There, there were incidents where, where a naked woman was placed upon the altar and worshipped uh, a, a, as the incarnation of a goddess of reason. Because reason, you know, obviously re religion is all irrational, crazy superstition, but the goddess of reason is very attractive and very naked. <laughs> and her on, on, and they, they did these things. And, <laughs> and that spirit of, of anti-clericalism and, 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 and you know, looking at God as an oppressor, you know, and 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 as as uh, a myth and unreality, you know, uh, got very deeply into liberalism. And 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 the, when liberalism was more liberal, uh, th that aspect of it, um, you know, was was went out of print. But now that liberalism is becoming very fanatical, and very, you know. Uh, it's anti-clerical and anti-God aspects are coming right out. And th th that's, that's why I'm, I want to say that I will not say liberals are Satanists because they're not, but if it wasn't for this kind of liberalism, the Satanists who are coming out of the woodwork in, in the United States, you know, and, and wanting to, you know, have Satan, Satan clubs for little kids in school, things like this, mm -hmm. that never would have happened. So a certain amount of this goes back to the French Revolution. You you have you have supposedly well you don't have tolerance, but you have you have a, a lip service to tolerance. But you have the rights of man. But what what uh, what the prophet you know and and the Muslim you know the Islamic revelation the Quran are showing, you know rights and duties are are inseparable. <coughs> I mean I mean the the, the human being is is both Khalifa and Abd, mm -hmm. we, 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 we are the fully empowered representative, you know, the human form is the fully powered, empowered representative of Allah upon earth because we are capable of being the perfect slaves of God. We can, you know, we can choose deliberately to be slaves of God. Everything else is a slave of, of Allah by na by natural law or or mm -hmm. by by the instinct of the animals they they all do exactly what that's why i love my cat my cat does exactly you know he obeys allah perfectly by being a cat doing what yeah. the cats do and i say you know th there's actually a poem about that by a, a, an english poet christopher smart it's a poem about his cat jeffrey you know you know, and, and I, I will, I forget it, you know, I, I will consider my cat Jeffrey a servant of the living God daily and duly serving him, mm. you know, because he just says what the cat does is what the cat does. You know, he, he, he you know, he rolls over, he does whatever cats do. Yeah. And and you you see him just following perfectly the cat Sharia, you know, and, <laughs> and, and that, that's what the planets do and that's what the atoms do. But the human, the human being, you know, because we can rebel, you know, our 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 our, uh, our submission is is so much more powerful because we we could have gone the other way. So mm -hmm. if if we submit to Allah, that you know, and and that's that's why we hold the amana. That's why we hold the trust because we can submit consciously, and you know, so, and and so out of out of Islam came. <laughs> You know, and the Constitution of Medina and the Covenants came something on the order of a universal declaration of human rights. I mean, you know, you, 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 and, and out of the Quran, you know, you prohibit infanticide, you know, give give, give women rights to inherit, and you know, and and all. The, it, it was the, was the beginning of of a true a true declaration of human rights that's not separated from human duties to God. Hmm. That is not coming from the French Revolution, like Western liberalism, which is so <coughs> ultimately anti-religion, and now that's that's it's revealing itself to be that again. You know, so. so. Okay, thank you so much, Zakum Allah Khairan. Um. So, inshallah, next week, inshallah. Okay. Bismillah. Well, you know, we'll talk about we'll talk about what. And well, that's what I was going to talk to you about now. Yeah, we, we yeah, okay.